Hey everybody, it's Matt here, and this is Tutorial Level, and if you want to learn how to clean a PS4 game, then this is the video for you. So recently I did an episode of Did I Get What I Ordered on our Those Guys Play channel, which check that out in the description box down below, and when it came to this PS4 game, it looked like this. So this is not good. A lot of thumbprints on the back here. Don't know who owned it before, but uh, dear God. So I actually bought this from GameStop used. Uh, the deal was amazing. Again, go check out that video, but this does not look good at all. And while I highly suggest that you do not do what I'm about to do, so don't do this. Don't. I put it in the PS4, and as you can tell, it's just not working. Now, I say don't do this because it could, over time, if you continuously do this with games that are clearly not going to work, it could end up ruining the laser, so just don't do that at all. You don't want to get all this gook and grime in your PS4, but let's actually talk about, before we talk about uh, how to clean it, let's talk about what you need. So back in the day with PS1 and PS2 games, I know that a lot of people out there probably thought, ah, just get a, a tissue or your t-shirt even. That's good enough. But in this case, not only are we not going to be using a t-shirt, not only are we not going to be using a tissue, uh, I would even suggest not even having your bare hands touch the back of this disc at all. And by the way, no cleaning solution either. And do not get any kind of cleaning solution, anything alcohol based, nothing like that. The reason why is because Blu-ray discs are very sensitive. Compared to CDs and DVDs, I'm not saying we should have been using our shirts necessarily, but they were not as sensitive as these discs. The kind of scratches that you could get on these discs could make it very hard to read from the disc. And yes, even though you have downloads and stuff nowadays, uh, updates and installing from online, all that stuff, you still are going to end up having data read from the disc and you don't want your, essentially your key to get into the game to be screwed up and you can't even load the game or load certain parts of the game. So what we're going to need is a glass of water just plain old glass of water tap water even just get up a glass of water and a microfiber cloth particularly the ones that you would use let's say for your glasses I would suggest buying one brand new if possible or maybe one they just haven't used as much for your glasses and what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to dip but not dunk not completely soak but dab not, not so lightly, let me dab a little bit more than you think, enough water onto it so that it's not sopping wet, don't use a sopping wet one, but have it just be wet enough that you can tell, okay, this is wet, and just slowly wipe the disc from the ring to the edge, ring to the edge. Don't do any circular motion, anything like that. You just wanna make sure that the either grime or, or dirt, or in this case, fingerprints, are not on the disc anymore, that you've wiped them all clean. And using a microfiber cloth is the best way to do it because again, scratches really do matter in this case. So, uh, and, and these discs are very fragile compared to the ones that, you know, I hate, it sounds so much like a back in my day kind of thing, but it's legit. So as you can see, after doing that, the game actually looks pretty clean. So let's actually pop it into our PS4. And as you can see, works just fine. And that's how you do it. So, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you don't like this video, you can still like and subscribe anyway. That's cool, I won't tell anyone, all right? Just between you and me, you can like and subscribe. That's okay, even if you, or dislike and subscribe. Again, both are fine. But either way though, I love you all so much. Take care and tune in next time. So, see ya.